like what is with that? So the, the thing about doing another RSI ship is that we've got a really well established art style for RSI in our in our universe. Um, and it gives us the ability to kind of skip, or train up newest members of the teams on something that's kind of quite a known element. That is absolutely not the only benefit though. The way we are like planning on tackling the Polaris is not tackling it as one ship, but actually we want to tackle, well, anyone that knows our backlog knows we have a number of large RSI ships on there. And our kind of plan is that we tackle that as a family of ships. We don't just tackle one of them and then we go off and do something else for six months a year, come back and do another one, something else, come back and do another one. We want to tackle them all together, one after the other. And what that really allows us to do is just kind of streamline our development process. We're able to, you know, for our more common areas of the ship, we're able to build kits that we're confident in that we can reuse and we can make the most out of them. And then that allows us to focus our development time and our efforts really on the much more unique and the important and exciting areas of each ship. It, tackling them as a family kind of allows us to expedite their development. We leverage the experience that we've got within the team. And it just allows us to, like I say, streamline everything. So first up, we've got the Polaris. Next up, we've got the Galaxy. Then we've got the Perseus. And that kind of closes out our, most of our large RSI ships. And then we can you know, see what we want to take on after that. Well, I, I think that's pretty much everything we want to talk about today. Um, however, before we go, we're, we're going to... Torsten's already stolen the, the predictable joke here. So we'll do one last thing to show you guys. So let's have a look at the current state of the Polaris in-engine in its Y-Buck state. <laughs> 